Places on the stereo net are positioned using the lines marked on the stereo net. The Lambert net shows two sets of lines which are similar to the imaginary latitudinal and longitudinal lines drawn on the globe and on world maps. On the stereo net the thicker lines are 10 degrees apart, the subdivisions are at 2 degrees. The outline of the stereo net is the primitive circle. The circle is labelled on the stereo net. The longitudinal lines running from north to south pole are great circles. These lines give positions east or west of the north-south line on the stereo net. The equator on the stereo net is the east-west line dividing the net into two equal parts. It's a bit similar to the equator on the Earth's surface. Lines of latitude go across the stereo net. These lines are small circles and give the position north or south of the equator. The stereo net is useful because you can use it to plot 3D data onto a 2D surface. Strikes and bearings, or azimuths, are read clockwise around the primitive circle, starting from the North Pole. Divisions from 000 degrees to 360 degrees are marked by the points where the small circles cut the primitive circle. We always use three digits to mark or record these readings. Dips are read along the equator. They are measured from the primitive circle to the centre of the net. The divisions from 0 to 90 degrees are marked by the points where the great circles cut the equator. Measurements of dip to the west are measured on the equator to the west of the north-south line. Measurements of dip to the east are measured on the equator to the east of the north-south line. By working through the series of video clips, you will see Firstly, that the planes that you plot on a stereo net will show as lines. And secondly, that lines that you plot on a stereo net will show as points on your stereogram.